Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your HP Mini 210 computer to factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset. Best match should come back or reset this PC right above system settings. Just want to left click on that one time to open up this new screen here. Now on the right side underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on this get started button right here. So now we're going to have two options, either keep your files or remove everything. So keeping your files says removes apps and settings, but we'll keep your personal files. So I would still recommend creating a backup of any important files or documents or an external media source if you select that option. Second option, remove everything, which remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings, which is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. A couple more prompts we're going to have to get through before we actually begin the process, so just be patient. It's going to ask you if you want to clean the drives too. So if you're going to be donating and giving your computer to another party, I would suggest selecting remove files and clean the drive. However, if you're going to be holding on to your device, I would select just remove my files, the first option. And you will have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC, apps and programs, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here. This will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So it looks like our HP Mini 210 computer has been restored to factory settings. So I do have this brief tutorial, was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.